Hey there, my name is Stan Prokopenko. Thanks for watching Proko. This is the first figure drawing video and it's probably one of the most important. In this lesson, I'll be covering gesture. What the butt munch is gesture anyway? Gesture, rhythm, motion, action, flow, these are all words that are used interchangeably and they basically mean the same thing. They all refer to the movement between things. It's not the contours or the forms or the tones, it's the movement that connects the contours, forms, and tones. For example, if you have three balls, the gesture here would be a C curve that describes the relationship of these balls. This would be the contour, but this is the gesture. It's simple to understand, but difficult to put into practice when you're actually drawing a human figure. We're so tempted to draw the details of the anatomy and all the little bumps of the contour because we think the details will make our drawing look better. But the reality is, the detail is nothing without the gesture. You might accidentally get some gesture while you're copying the contours, but I don't like to rely on accidents. A better approach would be to practice finding the gesture of the figure so many times that it becomes second nature. Quick sketch is a common exercise in art school that involves drawing the model from life within a few minutes. A typical quick sketch lesson lasts two to three hours with poses ranging from 30 seconds to 10 minutes per pose. Gesture is the primary concern. Doing this exercise will train you to see the gesture immediately. You can feel it. Then you'll be able to design the details to complement the gesture instead of copying details randomly. Your journey of mastering Quick Sketch will be a long but exciting one. There's a lot to learn, and every time you learn something new, your sketches will show improvement. During a normal session, you'll finish anywhere from 25 to 100 drawings. Think about that. You're drawing the human figure up to 100 times within a few hours. If you do this on a regular basis, you're gonna get better. The best thing about it is it's actually fun, if you don't stress over it. In this video, I'll go over all the concepts you need to know for a successful quick sketch drawing that focuses completely on gesture. In future videos, I'll build onto that and introduce additional concepts, all of which come together. And in the end, with enough practice, you can use all these concepts to produce a completed quick sketch drawing in five to 10 minutes. Gesture is in everything, not just the figure. It's in the clouds, waves, trees, mountains. So basically, gesture is in everything around us. It's an approach to drawing that you can use to draw anything. Use gesture to tell a story by capturing the body language. We use our whole body, not just words, to communicate ideas and emotions. This is what the gesture should capture. What is the person doing? What is he feeling? What did he just do? Or what is he going to do? This could be told through just a few lines, which the viewer will recognize as the body and can identify the emotions the person is feeling, just like we can intuitively identify emotions of the people around us. It's a good idea to exaggerate the pose to tell a better story. As you become more skilled in exaggerating, you'll also improve in capturing the subtleties. You're probably thinking, Stan, is this another April Fool's joke? Are you drawing another stick figure? No, don't think of it as a stick figure because that could make your drawing stiff. They're not sticks. They're not straight lines. They're action lines. Observe the pose and analyze the movement. It's more about how it feels rather than how it looks. Later, we will add more structure to these drawings to make the figures feel more solid and real. So for those of you that don't find this inspiring and are thinking, I don't want my people to look like spaghetti, remember that this is not meant to be as a finished drawing. It's an exercise to practice a concept. You're training your mind to see rhythm in everything you draw. You're training your mind to consider more than just the contours when you're drawing shape. It's an important concept that needs to be intuitive. In all these drawings that you're seeing now, the element of gesture was applied to the anatomy to make the figure dynamic. Let's go over some important concepts to remember while practicing your gesture drawings. 
the longest axis. When you look at a form and try to find the gesture, look at its longest axis. Going down the length of the torso, down the length of the leg, down the length of the arm. It's in the longest axis of each form where you'll find the fluid motion from one form to the next. CSI. To eliminate unnecessary information and to capture that gesture, the lines you use should be simple. Don't use anything more complicated than a C-curve, S-curve, or straight. You can use combinations of these curves as you move down the figure. But attempt to do it in as few lines as possible using the simplest lines, C, S, or I. Line of action. The line of action would be a C-curve, showing the major flow from the torso to the legs. But this doesn't tell the whole story, so this pose would need to be broken up into more I think this sharp turn in the hips is important. So describing it with a soft curve isn't right. In this case, I would use a combination of a C curve for the torso and S curves for the legs. Relaxed and tense curves. The bendiness of the curve you use changes how the gesture feels. A longer fluid curve feels relaxed and moves the eye quickly through that flow. As you start to bend that curve more, you show more energy and more tension in the gesture. Eventually, when it's bent far enough, you can use a zigzag. A zigzag indicates tension, sharp corners, very sudden changes in the movement. Nature presents this very well with water. When the water is calm, the waves flow in an S-curve rhythm. During a storm, when there's more energy in the water, the waves flow in a zigzag pattern. So when you want to create tension, think zigzag. When you want to show something is relaxed, use a flowing curve. If you like this video, share the wealth. Tell your friends. Post it on your favorite social network. And click this button here to subscribe to the Proco newsletter if you want to be updated about new videos. Bye-bye. The other extr-